Our site was Chandler Park Assisted Living. The facility is all one floor. There are sitting areas throughout the hallways that allowed for residents to sit and talk to each other or for guests they might have visiting. The hallways were wide, allowing for plenty of walking space. When looking at the residents' rooms, they varied on the layout and how the resident was able to get around the room. At the facility, we looked at the ways the facility might help prevent falls, and one thing we realized was the floor. Some of the floors were carpeted, while other floors were a laminate-style flooring. Most of the participants we had were familiar with bingo size and had participated before. Most weeks, we had 10 participants. Some participants used walkers when moving around, while others needed no assistance to walk around. A couple of weeks, we would have participants that were in wheelchairs. New participants started to come and best in the last three weeks we were at the facility. The main purpose for bingo size was to decrease falls for the people at our facility. According to NCHS National Vital and Statistics System and the U.S. Census Bureau, the death rate per 100,000 people is 3.87 in Warren County. We did exercise to try and increase stability for these people to decrease falls. Most of the exercises we used were to increase balance and strength. The balance exercises were to help gain stability in their ankles and lower legs to help increase balance. The strength exercises we did concentrated on helping build strength in their legs to help gain muscle to assist in using muscle to help with stability. Our participants gained confidence throughout the sessions. Each new session, the participants felt more comfortable doing the exercises and continued to show growth through range of motion and were able to include exercises that were more difficult as well as increase the intensity of the exercises we had already been using. As our participants became more familiar with the exercises, we were able to spend less time demonstrating them and more time completing our reps. Throughout the sessions, we saw progress with each resident. With gaining confidence in the exercises, our participants also gained confidence in themselves to do everyday activities. They started showing an increase in reliability on themselves to do everyday activities that they might otherwise need help on before. These could be things like picking up things, grabbing stuff off shelves, or even walking back to their room. Also, they showed confidence in standing and testing their balance while doing exercises. Many of our exercises we have done in the later weeks have required for them to use as little assistance as possible and have needed them to trust themselves and keep their stability as stable as they can. Halfway through our time at our facility, we had the residents fill out an ABC scale to check their confidence levels of doing different activities that they might do in everyday activity. These were the activities like before and also included other things like walking out to cars and getting into cars when they go on trips. Through them gaining confidence, they started to become more social and becoming more comfortable being around us as well as each other. This helps their overall quality of life, and also, with them becoming more comfortable being around us and each other, this may end up resulting in them having a competition between each other to see who can perform these exercises better, and may end up leading to them pushing themselves further and resulting in better exercises and results. Doing bingo size gave us a new perspective on these types of facilities. As our perspective came from when we have volunteered with physical therapy offices and seeing how residents are required to go to physical therapy to help with their health. Seeing this experience, it shows that the residents want to be healthy and actually want to exercise. Seeing them want to do the program and want to participate showed how they are wanting to be healthy. Knowing that they came out of their choice showed how they wanted to be healthy and how much they enjoyed the activities and enjoyed interacting with us every week. Although we were happy with our results, there are a few things we would have done differently. 
For residents that were in wheelchairs, they weren't always able to complete every exercise. We wish we would have had more alternate exercises for them to do instead of just sit and watch the other participants. What we got from all this was the experience of what elderly people go through and what we as young adults can do to help them become more mobile without having to worry about them falling as much as they normally would. Also from this, we took a survey and asked all of our participants if they'd be willing to come back to continue this program. And they all surprisingly said yes, which goes to show that bingo size is effective and is fun for not only the participants, but us as students as well. We also wish that we would have spread out the residents more so they would have had more space to complete the activities. Finally, we wish that we would have found a better way to adjust technique that the residents were doing. They didn't always participate in the exercises perfectly, but we had a hard time telling them how to change their technique.